Boulevard Carnot, Arras, France, First Battle of the Scarp. Cheerful British troops boarding London omnibuses at Arras on their return from the capture of monchy le pro by men of the 37th Division, 11th April, 1917, 4 March, 2024. Rangi, September 3, 1944, at 4.36 p.m., Rue du Temple, Sergeant Carpenter photographed this Fordson truck. The Belgians give an enthusiastic welcome to their compatriots. 1940, 2024. France. saint amand les eaux on September 2, 1944. A German armored vehicle destroyed during the fighting to liberate the city. 1944-2024. Carving the names of Canadian dead onto the Vimy Memorial, France, 1936-2024. The memorial took 11 years and $1.5 million to build. Resting on a bed of approximately 11,000 tons of concrete, and reinforced with hundreds of tons of steel. More than 6,000 tons of limestone were used in its construction. It is a dedicated to the memory of Canadian Expeditionary Force members killed during the First World War. 11,285 names of Canadian soldiers who have no known grave are carved upon its walls. The crew of the armored cruiser, SMS Blucher, shipwrecked at Dogger Bank in 1915, crossed the hill in front of the memorial to fallen soldiers of the Boer War, Edinburgh, Scotland, and proceeded to the castle as prisoners of war. France-British Army at Orchez Place in April 1940, 1940-2024. Polish paratroopers taking the oath, Falkland Palace, Scotland, 1942-2024. Firefight in Normandy, a powerful then and now, photo taken in Bercy, Normandy. In late July and early August 1944, a fierce battle took place in this French city, located 13 miles south of St. Lo. Many American units fought in this sector, such as the 29th and 28th Infantry Divisions, and the city of Bercy was liberated on August 2, 1944. Many French soldiers and civilians died during that intense battle. We must never forget them. Castellet, Copenhagen, the Citadel, Copenhagen, German soldier on guard at Norgesporten at the northern end of the Castellet. Then, 1940-1945, unknown German photographer. Now, 24 October 2023, Jens Voigt. Neuker, born home refugee children from Rona in Neukirka. After the Soviet bombings of Rona and Nexu on 7 May, the evacuation of Rona's citizens was ordered by the Air Force chief. They should have left the municipality as soon as possible and no later than Oro 900 on 8 May. Many sought refuge with friends and acquaintances. Others, like in the picture here, in new church and in community centers and wherever else they could find. Some, no further than a ditch. Nukirka is one of Bornholm's four round churches in total, with Nuker Runkirka believed to have been built at the beginning of the 13th century as the youngest. Then 8 May 1945, Henry Pedersen. Now 11 September 2017, Jens Voigt. Collection, Niels Christian Peel. An M24 Chaffee tank from the Bornholm's Verne's Light Tank Squadron, passing here Bodel's Church in Bodelsker. According to the original text at the end of an exercise, however, it would then have driven the other way, unless they have a meeting point in the other direction before driving home. Then, October 1968, Algot Lindau Rasmussen. Now, October 11, 2023, Jens Voigt. Wevther May, a Messerschmitt BF109G8, photo recce, 
nicknamed Amigo, lands at Buldragorsvai with two people on board, the pilot Lieutenant Colonel Leibniz and his mechanic. They have fled from the advancing Russian forces in Courland. However, Lieutenant Colonel Leibniz's luck runs out when the Russians land on Bornholm on 9th May. The Lieutenant Colonel dies in Russia during the autumn of 1945. In the picture, the BF-109 is being separated so that it can be transported away from the zone and out to the airfield. Then, May 1945, Sven Park Sornow, 5, May 2016, Jens Voigt. Soldier from the Bornholm Defense Force on duty at the castle in Rona. The castle, which is also called Rona Arsenal, was used by the Germans and Russians from 1943 to 1946. From 1947 to 1984, the arsenal was used as depots for Bornholm's Varen, and since 1980 as Bornholm's Defense Museum, Castellet, Copenhagen, the Citadel, Copenhagen. The Danish coastal Lieutenant Agersborg was taken as a prisoner of war blindfolded to the Castellet in Copenhagen by German soldiers after it had been taken. Rena, Bornholm. The Dragoons at Bornholm's Vern received the first M24 Chaffee tanks and a light tank squadron is created. On the way from the harbor and to the barracks, a short stop is made here on the viaduct on Almendingsvai. Then, October 1960s, Algot Lindau Rasmussen. Now, October 11, 2022, Jens Voigt. Knutsker, born home. A freedom fighter is getting ready to transport a load of German soldiers to the harbor in Rona from Knutsker School. Time, May 1945, unknown photographer. Now, 3 April 2016, Jens Voigt Collection, Niels Christian Peel. Reinhard Heydrich's coffin is surrounded by an honor guard on the grounds of Prague Castle, June 1942, April 2023. On May 27, 1942, Czech paratroopers Jan Kubis and Josef Gabšek attempted to assassinate Obergruppenführer Reinhard Heydrich, the Butcher of Prague. The fragments initially failed, but fragments of the bomb that exploded next to Heydrich's car, wounding him, caused blood poisoning. On June 3, Heydrich fell into a coma, never regained consciousness, and died on June 4. An autopsy concluded that Heydrich died of sepsis. Here, his body lies in state at Prague Castle before being transported to Berlin for his funeral. Heydrich's assassination was successful, but the retaliation that followed was horrific and led to the deaths of thousands of Czechs, including Kubisch and Gabsche. Castellet, Copenhagen, the Citadel, Copenhagen. New recruits stand in front of Norgesporten at the call-up to the 15th Battalion in Castella. The building you can see on the right is unfortunately one of several on Castella that has been demolished. Time, November 9, 1926, photographer unknown. Now 24 October 2023, Jens Voigt. Groningen World War II, the battle for Groningen, raid a single 29. During the battle for Groningen, the Canadians had difficulty gaining ground in the city. It was one of the hardest urban battles the Canadian had to fight during W2. What it made difficult was the center of Groningen as it is surrounded with canals and bridges. Only a few here usable. This picture clearly shows the hardness to advance to the center of Groningen, especially as you look around the corner and see where these soldiers were heading. But they not had any real good cover, as the Germans in the warehouses on the other side of the Verbindings Canal at the Trump single had clear visual at the advancing Canadians.
TIE fight fighter crashes on saint aubin sur mer Beach Sword Beach. You can notice there are no typical allied lines on the flanks, so fight in a pivot position. As Allied forces move to liberate Paris, Parisians begin to strike in revolt, removing barricades across the city to help the Allies move. August 1944. Thank you for watching. We hope this video reaches a 1,000 likes.